This is really a cool little event that Jason and Lisa put together, and I can't thank them enough for letting me be a part of it. The only thing I wish is that it would be a little more laid back, because, you know, they keep it so tense, you know. They're always pointing at the watch. You know that's not true. All right, this song I wrote called Double Take. Sometimes I take my chances, don't like giving in. Sometimes I gotta take it right square on the chin. Sometimes I take the driver's seat, take a little spin. Sometimes I take a back seat just to see where I've been. Sometimes I take a step back, take it all in. Someday that undertaker's gonna be taking me in. But don't take me for granted. Do a double take, they never take me seriously. Now don't that take the cake? Every time I give an inch, they want to take a mile. You better take a seat, boy, this might take a little while. They're taking pictures, taking names, they're taking way too long. What's it take to get them to take the blame for being wrong? They'll try to take advantage, best take my advice. They'll take you to the cleaners, take a big slice. They're trying to take over, don't let them take control. You take this to the bank one day, it's gonna take its toll. But don't take me for granted, I do a double take, they never take me seriously, now don't that take the cake, every time I give an inch, they want to take a mile, you better take the seat, boy, this might take a little while. I gotta take precautions, I gotta take my time Can't let them take me down, take me out in my prime I'm taking this to heart, boy, you better take this down I might be taking on water, I'll be damned if I'm gonna drown But I can't take much more of this, I'm about to lose my mind Just wanna take my baby out and have a good time Yeah, don't take me for granted I might do a double take They never take me seriously Don't that take a cake Every time I give an inch They want to take a mile You better take a seat Boy, this might take a little while Take a number Yeah, thank you. Take that. Speaking of um, my taking my baby out to have a good time, maybe in a little bit I can get my beautiful better half, my lovely wife Diane up here to sing a song with me. I might do one or two before then but because she, she's looking hesitant, but maybe we'll get her up here. Wouldn't we like that? Um, this is just a silly little song I wrote. 
that has nothing to do with anything. It's just for fun. I saw an elephant packing his trunk, then he put it in the back of the car. I got a I got a table, got four good legs, but I really can't walk very far. I seen a birdie playing golf, just a little bit under par. I got a fish, he got several good points, and he never gonna be a star, yeah. I know a carpenter good with a hammer, cause he still got ten good nails. I got a bucket, it's bright and beautiful, to tell you the truth, it's a little pale. I got a dog, thought he was being followed when he heard that he had a tail. Found an old bag of croutons here and I don't know if they're stale, yeah. You might stop and take a look at things and think you got something to say. Hang on a minute, take another look. You might see things in a different way. You might think you're a little horse, no reason you can't say, hey. You could even draw a calendar and make somebody's day. This is where I forgot my kazoo. Well, I got an oven that's pretty cool. My refrigerator ain't so hot. I got a shirt that's perfectly clean. Got a jar of mustard hits the spot. Sometimes I might cross my eyes, but my T's never get the dot. Got a couple loose ends hanging by a thread, and I don't want to tie the knot. Yeah, and you might stop and take a look at things and think you got something to say. Hang on a minute, take another look. Might see things in a different way. You might think you're a little horse, no reason you can't say, hey, you could even draw a calendar and make somebody's day. You could even draw a calendar and make somebody's day. Oh, thank you. Make somebody's day. Are there any questions? No? Okay, that concludes our question and answer period for this part of the show. We might have one later on again. So think of those questions and get them ready. Speaking of my wife, you know, um, when I met her, she said she was a Sagittarius. I think it's a sign. You'll go home and laugh. You'll just laugh. <laughs> I still love song for my lovely wife. We can take a trip around the world or just a block or two. It doesn't matter how far we go As long as I'm walking next to you We could climb to the mountain tops Couldn't get much higher Cause our love Is like a friendship that caught on fire We could take a sailing ship sail across the sea it doesn't matter where we go as long as you are on the boat with me we could sail into the sunset on an old truck tire cause our love it's like a friendship that caught on fire Tell you how it came to be. Just glad it happened to you and me. No way for me to try to figure it out. So all I do is just scream and shout that our love is like a friendship that caught on fire. We could stay out on the front porch, rock the 
day away or we could sit up all night long and just talk until the break of day we could watch the whole world go by like birds on a telephone wire cause our love it's like a friendship that caught on fire yes our love it's like a friendship that caught on fire That's, that's, the, that's um, one of those songs that I wrote to get myself out of trouble, you know? You write, all the, <laughs> you write a bunch of love songs. You don't spring them on her all at once, you know? You wait till you're in trouble and then you go, honey, I wrote this beautiful love song for you. And then she's like, oh. And then and everything is forgotten and it's all good. I've written 275 love songs for my wife. <laughs> No, I'm a good boy. Ain't I, Jen? I'm a good boy. <laughs> I, I am so thrilled to see Jen in the house. Jen, everybody, is over here at the table. And me and her ruled the world for like four years on the open mic scene. We were the shit. And, and everybody wanted to come see Jen and get drinks from her at the bar. And that's where I met both Jasons, was at my open mic, and, and Matthew, and, and Elizabeth, and I already knew Chad, but he was there. And anybody else that I missed, I'm sorry, but, but um, yeah, it was, that was like, that was cool, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Um, this is a song I wrote about my, my truck. might have yourself some junk well don't you worry don't get in a funk as it turns out looks like you're in luck cause guess what I got a truck I got a junk truck well I come pick you up in my junk truck looks like you're in luck I got a junk truck junk truck Junk truck, junk truck. I'll come load your junk up in my truck. Well, it won't even cost you a buck. You just say the word, you know I'll jump. And I will haul your junk to the dump in my junk truck. Well, I'll come pick you up in my junk truck. Won't cost you a buck, I got a junk truck Junk truck A junk truck Junk truck
Thanks, it was a little rough, but it's a junk truck, so, you know, it's got a little rust. But I will not help you move. I will not help you move. I can, I'm not even gonna haul your junk. That's just a song. I'm not, I'm not moving shit. Um, I will come over and help you stay put. All you gotta do is provide pizza and beer and I will make sure nobody takes shit out of your house, okay? See me after the gig. Um, oh, let's keep that right there. So this is a song I wrote because I watched, I, sometimes I tell stories about why I wrote songs and they're sad songs or they're funny stories and they're funny songs. And sometimes I just make some shit up and tell you that's why I wrote the song. And it might, and it may not have anything to do with the song. But this is the truth. I wrote this song because I watched the movie Goodfellas way too many times. Does anybody know that movie, Goodfellas? Yeah, well, this is called Married to the Mob. Kind of a doo wop. The Scooby Doo Wop. Ram a lamb a lamb a deep bop. Scoop bop. Choopy doopy. Hello, honey. Tell me about your day. You're all that I've been thinking about since I went away. But me and Eddie got this thing. This thing we got to do. And as soon as we take care of that, I'm headed home to you and I'm almost home. Just need to get a gun. I'm almost home. Oh, I really miss you, hon. I'm almost home. I need a ski mask and gloves, and then I'm almost home. Home to you, my love. Tell me about the kids. They doing well in school? Jimmy's selling weed. Wow, that's pretty cool. And little Joey's taking bets. On the high school football game, well, he's a chip off the old block. That's why he shares my name, and I'm almost home. Just need to get some rope. I'm almost home, back into your loving arms, I hope. I'm almost home, I gotta bust a couple heads, and then I'm almost home to snuggle up with you in bed. Some couples find themselves caught up in a bind. Sometimes the middle ground can seem so hard to find. Separate your career and marriage, it's the best way by far. Your job is what you do, it isn't who you are. And I'm almost home, I just gotta find some duct tape. I'm almost home, I'm so glad you make me keep in shape. Cause I'm almost home, after I dig this big hole. And then I'm almost home. I love you heart and soul. We had that thing in Cleveland that Tony had us stop. Over in Detroit, Paulie skimming off the top. And then a quick stop at Chicago to break some loser's legs. But don't you worry, honey. I'll pick up the milk and eggs. And I'm almost home. Just need to steal a car. I'm almost home, oh, our love has come so far. I'm almost home, uh-oh, the cops are on my tail. I'm almost home. Will you come post my bail? Oh, come on, honey, there's some money in the sugar bowl. And that howled out Bible in the nightstand's got some cash in it. You can hit up Tony for the rest. He knows I'm good for it. Hello? Hello, honey? Karen? Karen! <laughs> oh, thank you. Something sounds... Uh, it's just me. Um, maybe I should get Diane up here now, save this show. It's gone in the toilet, hasn't it? 
I can feel it. Come up here and save my show, honey. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to wipe that chair off. I had my drink there, so. Oh, are you gonna? Do you want her on this one? Yep, that one over there. You can stand if you want, but yeah, I'm sorry about that. Ooh, this is like fancy. Do you need to, to go sorry. up? You can push it up, or you can sit. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to the world. My beautiful wife, Diane Wolf. Put your hands together for her. I have to be nice to her because in a few years she'll be changing my depends and I need somebody that I can count on. True story. <laughs> all good we got this no I'm blessed to have her and um, I wrote this um, duet for us to sing and um, because the first duet I wrote she wouldn't sing with me because it's called I can do it by myself and you know what that's about and she's like I'm not singing that in front of my grandkids <laughs> and I told her by the time they understand what I'm singing about they're gonna be doing it by themselves too <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do with this. Something sounds messed up there, I'm telling you. There it is. Fix that later. Here we go. It's called Head Over Heels. Well, I'm head over heels in love with you. Not sure what you expected me to do. From the first time I saw you, that's when I knew that I was head over heels in love with you at first i saw your eyes so big and so blue that's when i realized that i was falling for you then after a while i was captured by your smile and now i know exactly how it feels to be head over heels in love with you not sure what you expected me to do from the first time i saw you that's when i knew that i was head over heels in love with you you looked like a jerk when you came walking in a real piece of work and then you started smooth talking you didn't exactly how it feels to be head over heels in love with you not sure what you expected me to do from the first time i saw you that's when i knew that i was head over heels in love with you i will pick one expected me to do from the first time i saw you that's when i knew that i was head over heels in love with you from the first time i saw you that's when i knew that i was 
head over heels in love with you. Diane Wolf, huh? What did I do to deserve her? I've got a few, a few more minutes I can play a few more songs, uh, I don't know, two or three songs, maybe two, maybe three. Let's have a toast to all y'all and your mom and them. Cheers. Cheers. Can I tell a quick story, real quick, real quick story? It's not that quick. It's kind of quick. Um, so um, I was playing um, a Rust Festival. That's where they like take old stuff, put a price tag on it, hang it on a tent, and then you come by and buy it. Uh, I call it a Rust Fest. And um, I was playing that, and I saw this gal, and she had this, um, this watering can right there in her little booth. And this other gal from another booth came up and she goes, well, that's a pretty watering can. What do you want for it? And the gal says, well, I got $5 on it. And the other gal says, would you take three? And she says, yeah, I'll take three. So she took that water can. She went back to her booth and she put a bo bouquet of flowers in the spout and she put $10 on it. Well, that first gal, she come walking by the booth. She goes, oh, I love what you did with that watering can. What do you want for it? She says, I got it for $10. She goes, will you take seven? The lady says, sure. So she gives her $7. That gal takes that one back to her booth with a flower sticking out of it. She ties a pretty red ribbon around it and she puts $15 on it. Well, this city gal comes by and she goes, that is a pretty watering can with them flowers and that ribbon. What do you want for it? She says, I'll take $15. And that city gal says, I'll take it. She gave her $15, took her watering can, and went on through the Rust Fest. And that other gal comes over. She goes, where's our watering can? And the first gal says, well, I sold it to this city gal for $15. She said, you fool. We were making a good living off that watering can. <laughs> These are free, folks. These jokes are free. <laughs> you are not paying a nickel for these. <laughs> no, I would like to thank Jason and Lisa one more time for having us out here. This is like, and, and the truth is, is um, this year I just planned on showing up and just hanging out because I've played a couple times already. And, um, and, and somebody dropped out and Jason gave me this spot and I'm, I'm forever grateful because I haven't shared the stage with this, the bill with Chad Mills in a long time and that right there is an honor in the state of Indiana. You, can't, you cannot be an official Hoosier musician if you don't play a show with Chad Mills. And let's give a big hand to the High Water Troubadours. What? Those guys were killing it. And of course, Matthew Marcel, the 14th greatest songwriter that, what is it? <laughs> oh, no, the greatest songwriter that wears that hat. Yeah. I, I figured out that I, I am, the, there's only 14 songwriters in the state that are worse than me, and all the, <laughs> all the rest are much better than me. This is a song I wrote about falling in love with a girl in a trailer park. I don't have a lot of money. 
But I just paid off my double wine. Never had much time for a honey. But I always wished I had one by my side. Lately there's this girl that caught my fancy Living in the trailer next to mine She told me that her name is Nancy I think she knows, I think she's really fine And summer rain keeps coming through my window But it's too hot to keep it closed at night well, I know that someday I'll have to find a way to Try to keep that window locked up tight Well, I found out Nancy has a boyfriend He's a biker type, they call him Savage Stew he works as a bouncer at the strip club. Turns out that's where Nancy's working too. And Nancy had to get herself a stage name. So Stu, he drinks too much to ease his head. And when she's on the pole, they call her Summer Rain. Then she goes home and puts drunk Stu to bed. And summer rain keeps coming through my window But it's too hot to keep it closed at night But I know that someday I'll have to find a way To try to keep that window locked up tight Yeah, summer rain keeps coming through my window But it's too hot to keep it closed at night I know that someday I'll have to find a way Try to keep that window locked up tight well, I'll try to keep that window locked up tight Summer Rain She was a stripper you, you picked up on that, right? Yeah. Yeah, and, and Stu's going to kick my ass if he finds she's been, right? Just make sure you guys got the punchline. My mom was really sad when she heard that song because I couldn't have that girl. I'd explain to her how mean bikers can be. All right, I think I got time for one more, and then uh, and then I'll get out of here. I appreciate you guys listening to all my silliness um, and putting up with me just so you could hear my lovely wife sing a song with me. This is a song I wrote about uh, being broke. Reaching to my pockets, and all I got is lint. Ain't got a nickel, not one red cent, and I'm wondering how to pay the rent. My baby walked in, she said, Boy, don't be such a jerk. Get off the couch and just go to work. You wouldn't be wondering how to pay the rent. But I'm just gonna put my stuff out in the yard. Sell my comic books and baseball cards. Sell my golf clubs and fishing poles. I'm even gonna sell almost all of my clothes. They say that one man's trash is another man's treasure. By Sunday evening, I had the pleasure. I wasn't wondering how to pay the rent. Skip it, bop, oh, rap it, bow. Skip, 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 skip it, bow. 
Scooby Dip Bop Oh Bop Bop Dee Bop Oh My baby walked in, she saw that big pile of cash. She snatched it up, she was gone in a flash. She wasn't wondering how to pay the rent. She got a new dress, a new pair of shoes. She got a brand new purse, she got a new tattoo. She went out on the town drinking top shelf booze. She left me sitting here with these garage sale blues, so I'm still reaching in my pocket. And all I got is lint. Ain't got a nickel, not one red cent. And I'm wondering how to pay the rent. Yes, I'm wondering how to pay the rent. Anybody got 20 bucks? Thanks, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Everybody, enjoy yourselves. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. And um, Jason will be up here in a minute to shut me off. Because as long as it's on, I can't stop talking. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. Give it up one more time for Chris Wolf. I know you've heard of him.